on it once more and replaced any of the paper that had been contaminated with the previous micro splatter when doing the test without the dosage of Restroom Guardian. In UV black light mode you can see on the toilet rim in the water that it's not contaminated. I'm sorry, not highlighted or contaminated. The paper, any of them that had any micro splatter have been replaced. So they are clean again or back to the beginning. And the next step again now will be to use a dosage of Restroom Guardian. As we showed before, Restroom Guardian, same product we use in the bacterial study. One packet of this. It is a bio-based packet, meaning you just tear open the individual packet, pour the contents in the toilet, throw the packet in the toilet, it is fully bio-based, breaks down, eco-friendly. And again, as you see, we will use the contaminated soap bottle with the highlighting aid in it, simulating the use of the toilet by an individual. So I will now, the next step will be to put the foam in and begin the simulation with the dosage of Restroom Guardian. I'm now taking the individual packet, tearing it open, pouring in the contents. Again, like previous, within seconds it is foaming. It took about two seconds. And now I'm simulating the use of the toilet using the contaminated source fluid into the toilet. I'm even going to go longer this time to prove that Restroom Garden truly does prevent the airborne cross-contamination from splattering up on individuals and patients and employees. In the previous step of using this within uh, in the toilet without the dosage Restroom Garden, I only used about a third to maybe a half the bottle. I'm already down to using probably three-fourths of the bottle. The foam barrier, protective barrier, only lasts maybe 20 to 25 seconds before it itself starts breaking down, so it's not any issue for the uh, septic or uh, sanitary systems. As you can see on camera, I have emptied the whole bottle, which is about at least twice, maybe three times the amount of liquid that I put in the first try, first test without the restroom guardian. And we'll now go to UV and black light mode to show you that the water is certainly contaminated from the source contaminant bottle. There is again a few specks of, you can see them on the rim of the um, toilet of splatter. I can see one, two, three, four. Then I can see one there. A couple very small tiny ones. Even the ones that are there are much smaller in size and volume. Very, very minimal percentage. On the wall, the right hand side of the toilet, I see nothing. On the floor, I see nothing on the floor whatsoever. Remember the previous study with the out the restroom guardian, there was certainly splatter. There is a little bit of splatter here on the front left. I see one, two, three, four that I can see. Nothing on the back left. A little bit on the front left. But again, in all fairness, I poured in two, maybe three times the volume of contaminated fluid in this test versus the earlier one. On the left hand side there's nothing on the wall of micro splatter cross contamination. Nothing on the back. In summary, this video study I think very clearly proves that by using Restroom Guardian in a toilet or urinal, certainly in the healthcare sector for employees, 
patients, anyone dealing with biohazardous agents or are taking treatments with the agents would be of great benefit in improving patient safety, employee safety in this area. Again, if you're interested in using Restroom Guardian or offering it in your health facilities, health care, or medical facilities, you can reach the company direct at area code 913-780-9663. Again, this is the conclusion of this study on the biohazard source to prevent airborne cross-contamination from affecting the consumer, the patient, and the employees.